sealed documents in the case of a convicted pedophile priest are now public. CBS 6 has obtained papers outlining allegations against former Albany Diocese priest Gary Mercure. A handful of documents were unsealed as part of a lawsuit by the victim's attorney who wants all the documents in the case eventually made public. Pat Bailey read through them this afternoon. He joins us live now from the Albany Newsroom with details. And Pat, I'm, I'm certain that this was uh, an, an unhappy assignment of disturbing find here. Yeah, pretty very disturbing, actually, Liz. Now, we know the story of former priest Gary Mercure, that he was convicted of raping two boys in the Berkshires. Now, he is currently in a Massachusetts prison serving a 25-year sentence for that. However, there were many more alleged victims from here in the capital region, each with very disturbing stories. But because they waited so long to come forward, the statute of limitations is up in this state, and Gary Mercure can never be tried for the alleged abuse that is outlined in these documents here in New York State. As he sits in a Massachusetts prison serving his 25-year sentence, the details of how former Albany Diocese priest Gary Mercure allegedly abused other victims are now public. After constant pressure from a Vermont attorney who represents many alleged victims, 88 pages of the 560 were unsealed, with names of accusers redacted. One alleged victim said Mercure sexually abused him and asked him to keep the priest's pornography at his house so it would not be found at the rectory. Another accuser, according to the documents, stated he was fondled by Mercure in the priest's bedroom at the rectory. A statement from a former employee of St. Teresa of Avila said that there was a, quote, constant procession of young boys to his room. In those same documents, the former employee's brother gave a statement saying he, too, was abused by Mercure, a family friend. Documents also show the alleged abuse date back to the 1970s. Diocese officials were not made aware of the allegations until the mid-1990s after someone the priest was allegedly having an affair with told the diocese about it. At that time, Mercure was sent to a hospital in Pennsylvania for therapy. Documents state after promising Bishop Howard Hubbard he'd stay celibate, Mercure was allowed back into the diocese. However, in 2008, the first of the victims came forward. Documents show at that time, Bishop Hubbard did his own investigation and even traced Gary Mercure to a known gay resort in Key West where he was on vacation. The resort's policy was, quote, where the choice to wear something or nothing is yours. Documents state when he came back, authorities were made aware of the allegations, and Gary Mercure was no longer a priest in the Albany Diocese. Speaking of the Albany Diocese, I talked to their spokesman today. They had this to say, quote, there have been individuals we found to have been abused by priests of the Albany Diocese. It goes on to say, and we provided those people with some sort of compensation and assistance. End quote. Now, Gary Mercure is in a Massachusetts prison, as we said, because he was convicted of two counts of raping a child after taking some boys on a ski trip in the Berkshires. Now, according to the documents today, Gary Mercure also stole from the church. One alleged victim said that Mercure would keep large amounts of cash in his dresser drawer and use it to keep the victims quiet or lavish them with gifts to gain their trust. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, a letter Mercure wrote to one of the alleged victims expressing his love for him. Liz? Pat, there was talk of Mercure still collecting money from the diocese. Is that the case? Uh, also on the phone today, I talked to the spokesman about that for the diocese, and he told me that the only money that Gary Mercure is collecting at this time is his retirement that he paid into and, quote, he earned. Now, the spokesman stressed to me that Mercure has the legal authority to collect this pension, and the diocese cannot deny him that money under New York state law. There are no other payments, I am told, from the church currently to Mercure again, who is sitting in a state prison in Massachusetts. All right, Pat, thank you. And the clergy sex abuse scandal has certainly been one of the biggest issues that 